everyone, it's Michelle from Handcrafters House. Recently, I was at the 2022 International Quilt Festival in Houston, and I was working on the Handy Quilter booth, and this lovely lady, and bless me, I can't remember her name, came up and shared this really cool idea about putting magnets in the casing of my leaders for my long arm, which means it would eliminate having to pin. So I took myself off to Sew Tights and met Jessica, which is one of the owners there, and she told me uh, about this way of putting these magnets in. So I'd like to show you this product. Um, these are the Sew Tight Magnum. So they are a, quite a large um, magnet. You can see the length here, they're four inch magnet. And we can sew them into the casing of our uh, leaders, right? And so what will happen when we do this, we'll be able to use the magnets and they come apart like this. They are very, very strong. There's five magnets on the back and then they actually magnetize to these plates um, just like that. And these will clamp the fabric um, in between the magnet and these get sewn into the casing and then we can put our fabric on there and then clamp them there. So this will save it uh, the hassle of pinning or if you're using zippers or any other way of connecting your um, fabric to your leaders this is going to be super quick and super easy. So let's show you how we go about doing it, shall we? There are 20 in this tin. So they come in packs of 20, packs of three or packs of five. If you have a 12 foot frame, you will need three packs of 20. If you have a 10 foot frame, you'll still need three packs of 20, but you won't use, I think all but three you don't use. And then if you have an eight foot frame, you'll need a, two packs of 20 and a pack of five. Okay, so let's show you how to go about doing this. Okay, I'll just put these over here for now. So the, the more, most important thing is that you're going to want to make sure that working out, depending on how your frame is set up, um, which side that you're going to mark the stitch lines. So we're, we've marked um, 20 casings, let's just say, or slots. And they're six inches apart so the bars will sit in there look if i can get a bar out the bars will sit in here um, and have like a little bit of wiggle room just in case that you know your quilt doesn't go all the way or whatever you you can kind of wiggle these around but you'll have at least two inches in between each of the um, magnets and that will be enough to hold your fabric firm all right so we've marked, as I said, 20 slots. This is a 12 foot frame. So there's 20 slots and they're six inches apart. So you'll wanna make sure, as I said, that you've got the, so I don't wanna mark on this side because this is the way that I need to stitch and see it because that's the way it's gonna face up. It's important that when you put the plates in, the plates go pattern side up. All right, cause that's the side the magnet needs to, to magnetize to not the plain side. So you'll have to remember that when you're inserting it into the casing to stitch them down. So all we did is we measured and we found the center. This is our center of the leader here. And you can kind of see where I've married those lines up. I've placed in this instance, the 60 inch line, cause that's what I needed to do. Cause it's 120 inches being 20 magnets at six inches apart. So I've put my 60 inch line on here and then I've measured six inches and marked all the way along. And I've marked the full length of the casing so I know where to stitch with my machine and so forth. So that's the way I've done it. Once I've done that side, I've then measured um, on this side and started working out from the center and marking as I went six inches, 12 inches, etc. Okay, so I've done that for all three leaders. So the belly bar, the top, and my leader at the front, at the, my tape up leader up here. Remembering again to find the center of your leaders and measuring from there out equally. So I'm going to start here. I'm gonna drop my needle in and I am using um, my ruler base here. So I'm use, working on my handy call through infinity and I'm using my ruler base because I really need something to kind of uh, keep that still. And I'm just gonna stitch. I can 
forth just a couple of times. And that's done. Then I'll snip that off. And now I'm going to slide in my first plate. So obviously it's a long way to come to the middle. Making sure that my casing, uh, sorry, the magnet goes into the casing with the pattern side up. And I'm going to push this along. Okay, so I can't go any further now because I've hit that initial sewing line. I'm gonna put that magnet away. Oh, there you go. They are super strong magnets, by the way. And I'm just gonna stitch. And again, trim that. I will get my next magnet and slide it in all the way until it can't go any further. Bring my machine up and of course I wanna put that away. I'm making sure that that is out of the way. And then the last thing I wanna do is stitch over a magnet Hold my thread. And that's done. Next magnet. Now, of course, you could just go along and separate all your bars and then had a pile of bars. That'll be much quicker. And now I'm up to the next one. So you can see how quick this really can be to set it all up and then I'm just going to hold on to everything so it's only a couple of times that I need to go backwards and forwards just on the same line so that it doesn't uh, come undone get my next magnet oh gosh and you really have to just slide them off like that you can't I pull it off, you have to slide it. Oh gosh, they have strong magnets. All right, so I, I'm pretty sure you get the way that we're doing this and uh, pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go along now and I'm gonna continue to sew uh, in the plates uh, into these slots. And then obviously when I get to the end of here, I'm gonna then start working from the, from the middle out to the other end and fill all of those slots. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll talk then about how to load it with the magnets and show you how much magic this really is. We're back. I've got Greg with me now. Hello. Because uh, Greg's got longer arms and it's gonna be much quicker to show, uh, for him to show you how to load with the new sew type magnets in the casings on the leaders. So um, I'm just gonna flip you around so that you can see what we've done. Um, and Greg will take it from here. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll. I've got my backing fabric and I've gone and found the center of both ends, right? So I folded it in half and just put a pin in either one. So you could put a pin or a mark just on your salvage chair so we can line up our centers on our leaders. Right, because we explained that before, didn't we? We did, because you don't want a quilt that looks like this. Mm. You want it to be nice and straight. Mm. So we've got our centers because this is on um, this machine, this is our backing pole. On your machine, it could be this one. So just depending on what loading you have, depends on what pole. So this is our center mark. And then you can see here, that is our magnet. Right, so, and we've got a little bit of space between. Yeah, so there are like four inch magnets, so you should have about an inch. inch either side either before side. the next casing That's that we it. sewed. Right, okay. And you'll notice that there is a bit of movement up and down, right? So to get rid of that before you load it, what I recommend. Oh, right, so that they'll drop forward. Exactly, lowering it down, so then the weight of that metal bar will drop down. And, and then, then you could just quickly come along and center them yep. now, you know, in those little slots. Yeah, Absolutely great. Them, and then roll it back. Oh, and they'll all be pushed and forward now. And they'll all be pushed forward, look at that. Right, okay, because gravity just took gravity care of that Gravity did all us. the work. Nice. How great is that? Mm -hmm. So, then I got my backing fabric. And then I throw it over the frame. I just 
just got lucky. Throw it over. <laughs> Shake it out. Oh, I lost my sensor pin. That's all right. All right, so I've got my sensor here. And then I've got it on my center line. You can see I've got a stitching line here of where that pocket in the leader is. All oh, right, so that's the stitching line of the casing. Yeah, yeah okay. of the casing. So I've got that there. And then I'm just going to grab my magnets. I'm going to stick oh, look it at that. on this bar. Oh, look at that. It's just controlling where that sits now. That's it. So then wow. I can just come along and basically prepare it all the way along. A little manipulation as you go along. Mm. But that takes all that weight from yeah, sliding that. backwards, right? Then I get my sew tie, clip it on. Woohoo. Woohoo. Easy as that, right? Boom. And I'm just looking at this line with the edge of my fabric here. And right, so, you, oh, hang on, there's a bit of space there. The so space. we can just, oh, you can just easily slide that. That's it, slide oh. it along. There we go. So remembering we said there's about an inch between each one. So if you've got an inch on the top, you're pretty good. Coming all the way across, again, keeping that line, finding that bar underneath. Bring my stack over. There we go. And then when you get to the end, because we've got that sideways movement, right? Right, because it's, yeah, there's movement. Yeah, because we can see this is where our last stitching line was. Yeah. So I've got my bar half on and half in the casing over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stick it on. Oh, so look. Then and it's just it's held off of there. Held over the back mm -hmm. of the fabric. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue on, shall we? So we'll do the other side. Let's grab my stack. All right, so I've got them all on my backing, on my back bar. Then I'm going to take my excess ones off, because otherwise I can't roll it on. No, right. But I can sit them on, on my bar. back bar. Okay. I'm going to lock it in. Yes. And just roll. Oh, look at that. All right, so as you're rolling, like you used to, you just want to make sure your ends are nice and straight. Mm -hmm. And then just rolling. I can help you down this end, Greg. Thank you. So the reason I throw it over is then because this back bar actually does like a pre-tensioner. Yeah. So it keeps it actually really nice and flat as you're rolling. So you're not having to be in the middle going like this. Yes, and the whole of course time, right? no more pins now to get exactly. caught you're not on. Gonna stab yourself yeah. and yeah. bleed everywhere. Yeah. Yes, because you know it's how many happened. times have we done that? A few Ouchies. Times. A few times. <laughs> Get and that was and so quick, control. like just to put those magnets on, wasn't it? Super like quick. super quick. Gonna roll all the way. All right. And we just have to go all the way, so we go under this bar here. Okay, perfect. All right. So that's the front. So now we need to attach it to the back bar. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna zoom back to now. So I've now got my back leader and I've got the center where my pin was. Again, mm -hmm. it's fallen out, you know, because... But you could see where it was, right? I could see where the hole was, exactly. Because it is important to get the center, it center. Is. So again, I'm just using that stitching line, getting my first magnet, putting it on. And you saw how easy that was to clip it on and just manipulate, all right? So it's all in line. And now we're just going to come along stick the bars on. Right, and we're just making sure we're keeping this nice and flush and even there. That's it, nice, flush, even. Okay, that's, that's a big it. gap though there, isn't it? it? Is oh, look, gap. I can still feel that yeah. there's some... Um... So that initial one. Yeah, we might just move that along a little bit. You don't want too big of a gap because that's where, you know, tension issues could arise with the with the backing fabric. That's it. Last one on this side. Right. Come to the other side, and away we go again. It really is much quicker than pinning, isn't it? Much quicker than pinning. Gosh. And you know what's great about this is because I'm not having to use. Yeah, you like it. So if you had some like um, mobility issues, exactly. In hand, like so not arthritis, trying to grip your 
Yeah. Strip them all. Yeah. I'm just holding on to that magnet. And yeah, snapping and just it snapping it on. Wow, that's fantastic. Let's get my handy tin with the rest of the magnets. Oh, yes, because they come in that lovely tin, right? They do. And done look at that we are done so now we have our backing fabric, backing fabric. let's um come back with loading wadding and and the actual quilt top all right so we've loaded our backing so now it's onto the top and look how easy this is so i've got my magnets ready to go i'm going to stick them on the right bar. well hang oh. on so i'm noticing something a little different now yeah so my top bar that my quilt top goes on. I've got it laying on my quilt back because I can, right? Right, so as before, we had this up on the top Correct. of the pole, but now oh, we can lay them nice we can and lay flat. It nice and flat, which makes this even easier if it wasn't already super duper easy. Okay, so now what you've done is you've uh, found the middle, middle here yep, so that's the and middle. line that up to the center of the leader and you're aligning the quilt top to again the seam line of the casing is that right that's it okay because when we get to the end of the quilt you're going to take these off anyway right, right which is what we had to do when we were um Pinning. using pins anyway exactly I want to say pin 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 but it's more like snap 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 isn't it yeah and super quick look how quick you've attached that top just like that that's like not even 30 seconds wow and okay we just roll it up right as we normally would as we normally would right and that sits super flat and no more oh look at that that's all wow nice and flat with the magnets nice and flat <laughs> Now we've got our quilt top ready to go. We need our wadding, right? So with my easy, oh my goodness, what are they? They're called? The, 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 the brackets. Pole cradles. Pole cradles, that's it. Here on the ends, like they're installed on our handy quilter frames. Yep. Yes. So with my pole cradle, I can just lift that top out the Oh, way. look at that. How clever is that? Come to the other side, do the same on this side. And then I can just slide my wadding in. One side. Oh, here I can do this side. Other side. Bring my quilt to the top. And then. So right now you would baste. Yep, so now I've based along the top and down the sides. But let's talk about the sides, right? Right, because now, well, I had noticed they're a little bit more floppier, aren't they? Because the weight of the, mag uh, the plates and the magnets. Correct. So. So we've got to made a side clamp. So these use the so tight originals, or you can get the heavy duties right. if you're going through multiple layers of fabric and wadding. Right, so there's instructions on the website how to do this, or it's in the packet, isn't it? Mm, it's somewhere. It's No, it's not. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, put a link in how to, you know, to, the, to, to make them, yep. So basically clamp it on. Right. And then you get your original clamp. Right, so now the clamps are nowhere near at the bed of our machine getting exactly, caught. Exactly, right? Because that was really annoying, getting yeah. caught on the ruler base. How guys. cool, how cool. And now like, super simple. Super simple. Right, so we're using originals here because we're only doing one layer of wadding and one layer of backing. And that seems to be perfect. That's Look at it. that. Gives you beautiful side tension. Right, so I guess the heavy duties would be better if uh, we were maybe doing a double batting. Yeah, exactly, double batting or Yep. Maybe a minky on the back. <laughs> but yeah, so All super right. easy, so tight. They are magnum. super easy. I mean, like... Are going to do this side? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh -huh. We'll do both sides. Super duper easy. No more pinning. Just your magnets. So if you do have arthritis or dexterity issues, you can get back to quilting. Because, you know, you might have stopped because it was all too hard. Yes, of course. And then this makes it so much easier. Right, perfect. So as we said, the So Tight Originals are like this tealy color, all right? And then the So Tight Heavy Duty, which are a little bit longer as well. So you have to make the casings uh, slightly bigger um, and the Heavy Duties come in the sort of blue color um, and they have actually got HD on there. They do. 
So, and again, you just have to make sure that you um, it, like abide by the rule where, you know, the pattern side is the bit that actually attaches to the magnet, not the smooth. Right. Okay, so I think, um, you know, we can kind of see we could have this, these quilts and the backing and everything loaded quick sticks, Super couldn't quick. we? Ready to go. Super oh, wow. Easy. Okay, well, thanks. No worries. See you next time. Well, I'll jump in here. Thanks for watching and we hope that you really enjoyed that and are inspired. All right, bye for now. Bye.